I would now like to invite on stage Captain Dr. Shashank Jahagirdar, Managing Director, Synergy Naughty Ship Management and Chairman of MTRF, to give his concluding remarks. Thank you. Captain Kamal Chadda, Marex team, ladies, gentlemen, friends, very good evening. Uh, I have been given this tough task to, uh, to share some concluding remarks. Uh, after we have heard from all the experts in the, from the industry, it is difficult to summarize it. Uh, but there are few things. For, first of all, uh, it is really, really good to see so many ladies uh, in, in the audience today. Because generally, when we meet during, for the shipping seminar or workshop, we always see men. So, big round of applause to Marix. Uh, I think one thing is very clear. Uh, when, when, you know what we heard from all the uh, uh, you know panelists uh, that there is a need to increase uh, women seafarers. Uh, couple of us, uh, we were at IMIC uh, AGM few weeks back. And in, it's not only in India, but we see internationally also there is a lot of, uh, uh, you know, drive to uh, get more and more female seafarers uh, at sea. Right now, as we speak, we are close to 1.2 to 1.5 percent uh, total population, which is very, very low. And I think it's a time that uh, all of us, we have to come together and uh, ensure that we get more and more uh, females uh, at sea, girl cadets. So when we talk about um, seafarers, it's really difficult to find actually because including us, most of the companies have this agenda to hire more uh, female seafarers. But when we reach out to the market, there are hardly any female seafarers available. The only way we can increase that ratio, that percentage is uh, hiring more and more girl cadets. So when we, uh, when we visit uh, maritime institutes, the first thing which we normally tell is to ensure there is adequate facilities, infrastructure to have uh, more girl cadets in the institutes. Some of the uh, you know, good quotes, what, what we heard is, is uh, about gender equality um, to gender equity. I think it's very strong. Uh, sentence and I think uh, somewhere it, this will definitely help if we uh, you know really look into this more seriously. Uh, Captain Jairam mentioned about uh, the directive has to come from top. I completely agree. I think uh, if we have to increase, uh, you know, all the companies have to increase, then it has to come from top. Captain Fadis mentioned about uh, looking for, uh, he is basically looking for officers, third engineer, fourth engineer, female officers, and he's not getting it for last two months, which is actually true. Uh, I think most of us, we are actually struggling to get uh, female seafarers uh, in, in the office, and it is not available today. Um, Reshma also mentioned about uh, there are few um, females which needs to be at the board level. I completely agree. Uh, I think that is the, the in Scandinavia, uh, I think there is a, a directives to have one third uh, board in the board member. I think, uh, you know, we should also look into that more seriously and see if we can um, adhere to it. While I was coming here, I was told by some of my friends not to speak more because I don't want to come between the beer, the bar which is there and, and this thing. Uh, we, I know we are running behind the schedule, but thank you so much again to Marex for uh, hosting such a seminar. And uh, I'm sure all of us, we will take away some good, uh, uh, you know, take away from, from today's seminar. We will start uh, hiring more girls, more female officers and increase that ratio, do our part at least. Thank you so much. I now request Ms. Rinal Tanna, member of the advisory board, to kindly propose a vote of thanks. Mm -hmm. 
Dear all, on behalf of the organizers of the conference, I would like to express my gratitude to all the attendees, speakers, sponsors, and supporters who have made this event a great success. Our heartfelt thanks to the advisory board chairperson, Mrs. H.K. Joshi, and members to steer the conference in the right direction. The conference was a unique opportunity for us to come together and discuss the latest trends, innovations, and challenges in the maritime industry. We had the privilege of hearing from some of the most experienced and knowledgeable experts in the field who shared their insights and perspectives on a wide range of topics, including gender equity, increasing awareness about maritime careers, career opportunities for women, etc. We are extremely grateful to our keynote speakers and panelists for taking the time out of their busy schedules to share their knowledge and experience with us. We also appreciate the contributions of our sponsors whose support made it possible for us to organize this event. Last but not least, we would like to thank all the attendees for their active participation, insightful questions, and constructive feedback. Your engagement and enthusiasm made this conference a truly memorable and valuable experience for all of us. We hope that you found the conference informative and inspiring, and that will contribute to the ongoing efforts to enhance the safety, efficiency, and sustainability of the maritime industry. Thank you all once again for your support and participation. And we look forward to seeing you at our future events.